Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Gore Reviews. I'm Gore Beast. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, today, I want to talk about a book that I just read. It's the newest book by one of my absolute favorite authors. Um, he's a forerunner in what is known as bizarro fiction. It's a blend of many different genres. There's a lot of horror, a lot of humor, a lot of sci-fi, weird surrealism, uh, absurdism, all, all kind of mishmash together. And uh, as I said, he, uh, this author is probably the most famous author of that genre. Um, one of my absolute favorite authors of all time, and his newest book was not disappointing. I am, of course, talking about Carlton Mellick III and his newest book, Stacking Doll. Uh, brief, briefly, what this book is about is a guy who is in love with this woman who is actually a stacking doll, and in the world of this story, there are living stacking dolls, uh, life size, and basically there's the two species, there's humans and the stacking dolls, and he wants to marry her, and her parents are firmly against it, but they agree to let them marry if he can survive through what's called the trial, and what that is he has to be locked in a room with his bride-to-be, potential bride-to-be, and he's not allowed to leave if he does the trial is canceled and his parent or her parents will not give the blessing to be married. And what the trial entails is her showing him her inner layers as a, you know if you know what a stacking doll is it's one of those little russian dolls you you open it up and there's another doll inside and you open that one up and there's another doll inside and they're smaller and smaller uh well that's what she is she has different layers and each layer lower is a different personality and he has to meet each of these personalities and they're all her they're all different facets of what combines to make her but some of them are very 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 strange uh, and they're not all <laughs> they're not all what you would expect and again this is Carlton Mellick so things get weird um, now Mellick writes very good cute romantic stories sometimes he's very 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 adept at that and this is one of those stories um, it's about him coming to grips with the different sides of her and I'm, I'm sure you can see what this really is saying you know there's a deeper meaning but you know Carlton will often say that there is no real meaning to his stories. But if you want to read into it, it's, it's, it's more of him coming to terms with the different sides of her, like seeing her different moods, if you will, different f facets to her personality. Uh, very, very, very excellent novel. Uh, it's short, it's not even a novel, it's a novella. Uh, very quick read. I read it in two quick sittings. Uh, his books are always worth it. If you've never read a Carlton Mellick book, you definitely should change that. Uh, he writes like many different types of stories, so there should be something there that should interest each of you. Uh, if you're into horror, he writes horror. If you're more into science fiction, he writes that. He's got the weird, romantic, cute stuff. Uh, he's got s surreal stuff. His early stuff is really, really surreal. Um, but anything he writes is is worth picking up, and uh, I can't recommend him enough, and his newest book is no exception to that. Um, now, we're going to go ahead, and this week's movie choice is this little number. 
there's kind of a there you go Hollywood chainsaw hookers yeah I know right uh, if you can't tell from the title this movie is not taking itself seriously at all it's very very tongue-in-cheek um, basically it's a there's a detective who's the main character who is investigating a missing persons case it's a girl it basically leads him to a long story short not really a long story short because this film is actually pretty short uh, he eventually his investigation leads him to this cult of hookers who are chainsawing people and it turns out they're sacrifices to <laughs> a chainsaw worshipping cult is what they are and what makes this movie perfect is their choice of who is playing the cult leader and that is none other than Gunnar Hansen and if you are any kind of horror fan you know who he is he is the man who originally played Leatherface in the original Toby Hooper film Texas Chainsaw Massacre so to have him play the cult leader of a chainsaw uh, chainsaw worshipping cult is just perfect casting and again that just goes along with the whole tongue-in-cheek tone of the entire film very 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 silly movie uh, again it's short um, also stars I, I, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce her name is it Linnea Quigley who some might recognize from Return of the Living Dead or Night of the Demons uh, cult movies back from the 80s she was in a lot of those um, it looks like she's pretty young in this one uh, uh, she's of course good in it she's kind of helping helping the detective he kind of you know befriends her and she's kind of helping him out fighting the uh, the cult and the cult members uh, <laughs> you're gonna have a good time with this movie I mean don't go in expecting it to be a serious film because you're gonna be disappointed it's very very silly again tongue-in-cheek uh, I remember seeing this movie many 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 years ago I had rented it from my local video store um, and I, I didn't remember much about it, just little snippets. I must have been pretty young, younger than I should have been to see this movie. Um, not that it's really that bad, just, you know, some TNA here and there. Um, and I think that's probably why I rented it. I was like, ooh, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, there's probably naked girls in this. And there are. Uh, I think at the time I was probably more anticipating a serious nasty gore fest and that is not what this is so I kind of wrote it off at the time I don't think I really got that it was so tongue-in-cheek I probably just thought it was really cheesy and I was like yeah but I revisited it revisited it recently and I'm happy to say that I totally changed my opinion uh, this movie is very silly well worth seeing and actually on this uh, blu-ray release from I don't even know who released this hmm not sure um, but surprisingly it looks really good it's weird how you'll get these random independently released blu-ray editions that look spanking new but yet sometimes you'll get like big releases from studios and they do nothing to the picture or sound and they just look blah they look no better than the DVD or maybe slightly better than the DVD but not really but this this movie looks great um, and again it's a fun movie you should check it out if you're in like campy horror kinda like um, Frankenhooker or Blood Diner or you know movies of that nature if you like that kind of stuff, you, then you'll definitely like this. You should check it out. Um, I'm not going to do a mu uh, music review this week because I haven't heard anything really recently that I feel like reviewing. Um, so I think that'll 
about wrap it up for this week. Again, I'm Gore Beast. This is Gore Reviews. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up below. Leave me some comments. What are some of your favorite cheesy, campy horror films, particularly from the 80s? Um, and if you're a Carlton Mellick fan, what are some of your favorite books by him? I'd, I'd be curious to see that. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think. And as always, please share this video around if you'd like to and subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications when I post new content. You can keep up with that. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.